Hello everyone, Brandon Boyd here with Wake Up Now. I want to go over strategy number six. This is critical. Get their top ten list. I want to start off by saying warm market works. It always has and it always will. Okay? And I I hate to say it like this, but I think that you are a fool if you avoid your warm market. You're a double fool if you don't get your new people tapping into their center of influence. Okay? Now, I've had someone come to me and they say, look, I don't want to talk to my warm market. Tough. Do it anyway. I've had so many people say that, but I've been burned. I've burned all my family and friends with other programs. Bummer. Now it's time to finally get serious and show them and bring them a good one. A company that you're actually committed to once and for all. So, you know you're looking into building a business, correct? So the question is, do you want to do it fast or slow? I know that you want to do it fast. And the fastest way to get started is to get your new people and take that opportunity and your products to people that you already know because the relationship already exists. It's quick. There's no rapport building necessary. The relationship is already there. Okay. And I'm not going to say that you got to write down a list of everyone that you've ever known since kindergarten and then dialing your way through the hundreds of people that you haven't spoken to in years. Okay, I think that, you know, in my opinion, if someone called me after 10 to 20 years, I'd be like, look, we haven't talked in like two decades. Not interested. Okay, um, if you want to do that, knock yourself out. But I don't personally recommend that. I, I, I am, however, a big fan of the strategy to get their top 10. My question to my new rep is generally going to be something like this. You know, Tony, who are the sharpest people you know? That if they grabbed a hold of this would knock it out of the park. Or you could say something like, Tony, who are the most successful, outgoing, motivated people you personally know? Okay. So my objective here is to get them thinking up the socioeconomic chain in their center of influence. So generally speaking, it's pretty easy to get someone to write down a list of 10 to 25 people to begin contact about their business. And it is way less scary and intimidating than writing down everyone they've ever known since kindergarten. So it's time to wake up. If you're if you're not talking to your warm market about your business, for me, at least me as a leader, I'd personally question your integrity, your commitment level, and your beliefs around the business. Okay, because those people that you truly say you care about the most, they'll be mad when they find out that you didn't tell them about wake up now, right? You're going to be mad, and then you're going to be doubly mad when they signed up in someone else's business, right? So if it is good enough for you, how is it not good enough for one of your buddies? You mean you're willing to take it like to a complete stranger, but you won't take it to someone that you love and care about? I mean, seriously, if you were going to join my business and you weren't willing to get to your top 10, for me, I won't even work with you. I will not work with someone who simply wants to go straight into the cold market and isn't willing to get to their center of influence. As I talked about on a different video, for these people who think they're just going to set up squeeze pages, landing pages, do everything online and build this massive downline, you know what? I've seen that before, and it's almost a revolving door. They bring people in, and the people fall out. Now, I'm all for having those things for some extras, but if you're going to build your entire business that way and think that you're going to try and retain all those people or a high percentage of them, I'm going to tell you, you can think again. This is a human business. It's a kneecap to kneecap business. And you can utilize the Internet and the tools that we have. But I'm telling you, you want to use the combination first, starting with those warm contacts. That way that you can get your business going and off the ground with people that are closest to you, regardless of your past. So the next video, I'm going to cover strategy number seven, uncovering their action motivator.